Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Game number two is something in store for us. It's the reigning world champion T1 going against the reigning domestic champion of the LCK, Gen G. And starting from the blue side, it is Gen G with Kin on the Cassante, Kenyon on the Rel, Chovy on the Corky, Paste on the Aphelios, and Lehens on the Lulu. And for T1, it is Zeus on Gwen, Ona on J4, Faker on Nico, Gumayoshi on Lucian, and Terrier on Milio. The first Void Grubs go to T1, the first Dragon is secured by Gen G, just like the second trio of Void Grubs at this very moment, where Chovy's coming in on the cocky with his package going for the dive onto Zeus, but immediately Faker with the teleport, and dive denied! First blood drawn by Faker! And then it is Ona securing the second Dragon of the game, and we see Chovy again, this time with a gank onto Faker, with the Valkyrie into the Gatling gun, and the Fuss Bombs, everything is thrown into mid lane of D1, but he gets away for a moment until Canyon comes in on the rail, but here's the Pop Blossom of Faker, he gets away for a moment to crash down the sidestep, and then he causes confusion, the Tangle Bombs for the stun onto Canyon, and then it has to be Chovy to secure the kill. And this boys T1, some seconds Ona can take the Herald, and then the mid lane, they can tear down. Down the tier one for the first turret gold before Chovy does so with the tier one on the bot lane. And we're already at minute 16 where we see Ona driving the Herald into the tier one on the bot lane. And then they continue to push to get off a second charge onto the tier two as well. And we skip another two minutes to see the third dragon of the game on this infernal rift secured by Gen G. But then here comes Faker with the pop plus on three man the flag and dragon to the cataclysm of Ona. And they find pace and they take down the ADC. And so Gen G, they are now running for the hills without their Aphelios. They took the dragon, they lost pace. And we go over into minute 20. Where it is now a 3k gold lead 41, and they are going for the Baronesha. It is only Canyon and Chovy in the vicinity for Gen G, and so there's no chance to contest this one. But we take a look at the upcoming fight in the mid lane. Take a look at Faker. Here comes the flash, Pop Blossom, but into the nothingness. He tries to get away, but here's Kim smelling that there's blood in the water. He takes the Nico over the walls with all out, and he immediately punished this mistake by the D1 mid laner. And so half a minute later, Gen G, they have the prior for the next dragon, they take it, and Faker, he comes in with the teleport, but then Ona with the Cataclysm on 3 tries to keep him around the pit, Zeus goes in, but he's all alone in the dragon pit, and he just explodes, and now Faker, he jumps into the pit, where he has no business to be, pays with a Moonlight Vigil, the Calibrum, the Gravity Cannon, and then the Corky Ultimate from Chovy to pick up the kill, it's a 2 for nothing trade, plus a dragon on top of it, and then Zeus breaking the tier 2, in the bot lane and we take a look at the mid lane 28 minutes into the game watch owner he goes in with the cataclysm trips three members goes over the dragon drop for the knockup and here comes faker with a flash pop blossom on two three as well gumayushi with a calling and the damage is just too much for genji kin pace Li hans they are sent back to the fountain and now it's a hunt down and Chovy will follow into the gray screen as well. And this is it. T1, they will take game one and the lead and the series. Game number two, starting from the blue side, this time it's T1 with Zeus on Udia, Ona on Lee Sin, Fake on Azir, Gumayushi on Nyla, and Karia on Senna. And for Genji on the red side, it is Kin on Kasanti, Kenyon on Maokai, Chovy on Tristana, Pace on Varos, and Lee Hans on the Rakan. The first three white grubs will be secured by Ona, the first dragon goes to Genji, a little bit of a contest here. But Genji, they pull it through like a clean highway robbery. And then we are nine minutes into the game to see Kin slaving away at trying to bring down the health of Zeus. Kenyon comes in on the Maokai to help, but still this Udil draws first blood. First blood goes to Zeus, and he's not done yet. Chovy is now there, and look at the health bars practically not existing, but the shields and the heal is coming in. Zeus refuses to go down in the end, he will. Only with the steel caps, this Udi is ridiculously tanky. And now it is Chovy surprised there by Ona. And with a dragon kick and the resonating strike, he trades back the kill they lost in the top lane. White Grubs number 4, 5 and 6 go to T1 as well, and we're in for the second dragon. Ona goes in trying to steal it, but Kenyon will secure it. Kuma goes in, but now he's all alone and in grave danger. The twisted advance from Kenyon roots him, followed by the Nature's Cross, and the Brumble Smash knocks him into the misery. Down goes Kuma. 
We skipped two and a half minutes to see Ona going for Kenyon, but here comes Chovy, and from the top side it is paced with the chains of corruption. The nature's crossed, and Ona, oh, this is just not fair. About a minute later, T1 then securing the Herald. Just seconds later, they tear down the tier one in the mid lane, but in the bot lane, it is Chovy doing the same to this turret on his Tristana. We skip another minute, the Infernal Drake, the third one about to spawn, and then it is Kenyon, Chovy on pace, going in, twisted advance, onto Faker. He's rooted, the Emperor's Survive won't help him, he pops before he gets out of the route. In the mid lane, Guman Carrier are going for some turrets, while Genji, they secure Soul Point. But Guman Carrier, they manage to tear down even the inhibit turret, but now on their way back. They stand against four members of Genji, the Blast Cone of Carrier over the walls. Kinister melting away his elf bar, and Carrier tries to flash over the walls off the red buff, but he fails to do so. And Guma goes down as well. And now, here it is a nice drift of Ono. Oh Look at the decay of the rift. He tears down the tier one on the bot lane. And Shelly will even get off a second charge into the tier two. And we're 20 and a half minutes into the game. Ono and Kenyon fighting for the new void empowered blue buff to share with their team. But as Chovy and Lehans come in, it's getting pretty delicate for the jungle of T1. Jovi and Kenyon breaking this out to it on their way back, and we're in for potential Dragon Soul. But here comes Ono with a Dragon Kick onto Pace, into the Emperor Sivan of Faker, and Pace is popped. Jovi gets killed as well, and so does Faker. Carrier will go down, but T1 they have the upper hand. Oh no, he finds King. It's a 3 for 2 as Lehans is barely managing to get away there with his life. And T1 denies Genji the Infernal Dragon Soul. JG then destroying the outer turret in the mid lane, and it is still a close game, only one and a half K goal difference as we go for the Baronesha. But Genji there canceling it to gather around mid lane, and we take a look at Faker going in with the Shirima shuffle. He finds pace, but Zeus is stunned on his way to the follow up, and so Faker just pops in the back line of Genji. Zeus is taking a heavy beating, but that's what the Udi is probably used to. And Genji, they're now backing off, position themselves around the Baron pit, and they start it. They burn down the health bar. T1 patiently waiting and looking for an angle to engage. Ona about to go around the pit. And Kin on the Cassante going in on Zeus and Guma with his Q. Effectively zoning down the way, but Ona, oh no, he's in the pit, the Baron is getting low. Guma finds the kill on the hands, but we take a look at the Baron. It is secured by Kenyon. Ona oh got killed, but also pays the hands and Kin and T1. They find the team fight that they were looking for. Kenyon finds himself in the gray screen as well, and only Chovy survives with a blue buff. We saw T1 just half a minute later securing the next dragon on their way back. G and G destroying the inner turret on the bot lane, and now here they come through the mid lane. They still have Chovy with the Baron buff, and here's Sears getting rooted by the Nature's Cross. All the damage is now thrown at the front line of T1, and he goes down. Faker follows, and this is now getting very delicate for the reigning world champion in front of their base. Guma Yushi pops as well, and now it is only Ona and Carrier. And Genji is making their way into game three now, destroying the remaining Nexus turrets. Own and Carrier doing whatever they can, but it is not much. Chovy points to kill on Carrier. Own I got popped. And this is game two in the books. And we go for the final game three. T1 again starting from the blue side with Zeus on Cannon, on on Belveth, Faik on Ozir, Kumeyoshi on Jin, and Carry on Bart. And for Genji, it is Kin on Udir, Kenyon on Maokai, Chovy on Yone, Pace on Varus, and Lehans on Rakan. We're still in the very beginning of the game as we see Lehans, Chovy, and Pace going for sneaky early on bait, and Carry on. He is walking straight into the danger zone. Knock up and ignite by Lehans. Carrier flashes, trying to make his way on those through the hell of arrow rains down on him and then pace draws first blood while Chovy is getting away there, tanking two turret shots. And then Ona trying to take the raptors from Canyon. He's not very amused about it. And so are Lehans and Chovy and Ona. He knows that he's in the midst of destruction and Carrier does so as well. He's taking the magical journey away. Nothing to help his jungler. And as he is walking into the gank of Canyon. And this is just another doomed situation for a member of T1. And so it is three kills for Genji, none for T1. 
The void crops are about to be taken by Ona and the first dragon, Boy Genji. And then his carrier, again surprised in his own jungle, Kenyon with the engage going through the magical portal, waiting for the support of T1, and this will be kill number four after not more than seven minutes. And just another minute later, it's a dive under the tier one, and everybody except for Guma received the call to go on the magical journey. And things are now getting a bit dire for T1, as we see Ona trying to secure the void grub, but he will be interrupted. And he goes in on Kenyon with a W knockout, but he will be knocked back as well by the Maokai. Q. They go through the magical portal, but oh no, he took so much damage, he goes down, and Chovy in grave danger as well, he flashes and uses his ult, and then barely get killed by Gumayushi, but just barely by the Gen W. He stays alive. T1, they take the Void Crumbs 4, 5, and 6, and Pace in the meantime, he's happy to tear down the tier 1 on the bot lane for the first turret gold. Terrell gets secured by Kenyon, and we look at Chovy against Ona. Ona sidesteps the Q, dash of Chovy, dashes in himself, and then Carrier comes in as well. But Chovy with his ultimate knockup forces Ona to tank a turret shot. Carrier with a temperate fate tries to save his jungler. Ona is running for the hills, and Gumayushi, you see the curtain call firing. And Chovy to go with Kin, they take out Carrier. But Chovy got his soul unbound, he snaps back, and now Kin, he's all alone, taken out as well. And Guma, he just gets destroyed on the bottom right screen by the two bot laners of Genji. And in the mid line it's Canyon together with Shelly having all the time they need to tear down the tier 1. The tier 2 falls as well. Genji they stand in front of the base of T1. And now it is Pace and Lianz. The chains of corruption, the hell of arrows. They go for Ona. He gets ignited. The Belveth goes down. Genji on top. They secure the next dragon. They have soul point. They destroy the tier 2 in the bot lane. And they are now 7k goal ahead. Their hands and pace are looking to have a good time with owner again, but this time the rest of T1 can save their jungler, and instead they're now on the hunt. It's the temperate fate, and then a Shirima shuffle of Faker, Zeus on the cannon, TP's in to hunt down the Rakan. As Chovy on the own in the meantime destroyed the tier 1 in the top lane. But still, it is a 6k gold lead for Genji after 21 minutes, and they are now going for Faker. Nothing that he could do to save his life, but in the same time in the river it is Ona taking down Pace. But now they have to back off, because the cavalry would have come in. And it is T1 trying to deny Genji the Dragon Soul. Carrier and Ona, they're in the pit and they managed to take down the dragon. Take the journey out of there. And we're at 25 minutes to see Carrier stepping in a little bit too close, and he just gets evaporated in his own topside jungle. And in a minute later, we take a look at the bottom screen at Zeus and Kin in a fight. Carrier and Kuma are about to close in. Kin tries to make his way out of there, but he gets stunned by the cannon passive, and then it is Kuma calling the curtain and taking the kill. And again, only a minute later, we're in for the second try of Genji to obtain the Hextech Dragon Soul. But take a look at Lehans lurking in the brushes, knocking up Kumayoshi, and he just gets annihilated. And this time, Genji obtains the mighty Dragon Buff. And now it is Carrier trying to make his way into safety. He gets ignited. Chovy flies in through the Hextech gates. Carrier sidesteps his ultimate, but he sidesteps into the demise. And now Genji, they're looking to burn the Baron Nature. They start it and Zeus immediately cancels his split push. Teleports into the top side. He goes in, but take a look at Chovy and bounces his soul. And together with the hands and pace, they just wipe the electric yordle off the map. The Baron is about to be burned down. Only owners there he blasts cones in, and then Ona, he gets to steal. Ona steals the Baron Nisha in between four members of Genji. Epic play by the T1 jungler. And a minute later, we see Lehans in the enemy jungle in between all five members of T1. Yeah, I don't know what he was looking for there. Chovy's trying to make his way out of there. Carrier with a temperate fate stops him. Chovy using his ultimate. Kenyon is there as well, but they're heavily outnumbered. It's double the amount of T1 players. They are on the advance, and so Chovy can only delay the inevitable. And one and a half minutes later, this very top lane in a turret is crumbling apart. And we're in just half a minute later to see Carrier again in his own jungle, going for Kin and Pace. And yeah, he goes in, but just a little bit too early, there was no backup in the vicinity yet. And so it is Genji, after 33 and a half minutes, breaking apart the first structure of the base of T1 in the mid lane. All Faker and Zeus are trying to do so as well in the top lane on the other side, and they will succeed. But we take a look at Lehans and Pace, lurking in the brushes, waking for Ona, the grand entrance, the chains of corruption. Carrier by some time with the temperate 
Fey, but he cannot save his jungler. But still, Ona barely managed to take out the hands, but only barely. But still, it is Zeus and Faker in the base of Genji, causing some heavy damage. The inhibitor is falling, but now they're on the back foot. Can he goes in, stuns Zeus, and his fate is sealed as Yoni comes in with his ultimate. Jovi takes the kill, but Faker with the Emperor's Divide managed to take out Kin as well, but now he is doomed there. As the rest of Genji is closing in, it is three members down on the sides of T1. One of them is Ona, and so there's just no chance for T1 to contest this Elder Dragon. And just a minute later, Genji secures also the Baron Asher. And with both mighty buffs, here they come through the bot lane. The inhibitor is gone, and they're going for the Nexus turrets. They're about to take down the first one, while Zeus and Kin are still on the other side of the map. Zeus is about to recall, and we take a look at Jovi. He gets rooted, and now everything is thrown at him. The Hans is going in, trying to beat a bodyguard, but he goes down. Jovi will follow immediately, because Zeus was there just moments before Kin. He gets killed as well, but so does Kenyon and T1. They make it happen a friend of Genji, at least for this very moment. But still, Genji pretty much in control of this game. They come again with blue and red buff. Oh, look at Faker. He's side pushing and taking down the inner enemy in the turret in the bot lane. And we skip another minute to go for the next Elder Dragon. Genji still having the prior over the pit. Ona sit far away from it, but still, carry on Faker barely made the magical steal happen. But so, it's them on the back foot. Faker there with a shield. But it's not enough to survive. The Elder Burn takes him out. The kill goes to Canyon. Zeus against Kin in the top lane again in front of the base of Genji, but the rest of the reigning domestic champion is now coming for the Nexus, and it is Kenyon and Pace spotting an isolated owner, and they're just annihilating him. The GA keeps him alive for the moment, while his lands and Chovy going in for Zeus to extinguish the electric yordle. Kumayushi, the next one to see the fountain for good, and this is it. Genji, they take the W on day one of the spring season.